So recently Boruto episode 44 came out and I just watched it and I wasn't sure if there was a lot for me to talk about other than obviously the stuff that happened but even then not a lot of interesting stuff kind of happened until like towards like the second half of the episode. So I mean I guess a little bit of interesting stuff happened in the beginning but like very little and they don't really you know make all that much of a significant difference within the story as is anyways. So. The episode starts off with like all the academy student getting they're there they're given like this kind of like side mission I guess you can say and basically the Byakuya gang is you know still doing what they're doing right they're robbing from the rich and they're giving it to the poor right so basically all of these getting are given this like little side mission you know away from like the main their main missions that they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis to basically you know if they see one of the Byakuya gang then they have to go and report to someone who's a tuning level or higher and so be because they're getting they can't do anything and they're told to not go after an attack and I thought that was interesting because Mitsuki actually points up the points of the fact of well what happens if they attack us and then Iwabe is like, well, then I guess we have no other choice to fight then. So, and I was like, well, there was basically no even any point of even saying like, yeah, don't fight them because they're gonna fight anyways because this is <laughs> because this is this isn't this isn't an Naruto universe. They're gonna fight them anyways, even though they're Genin and they all suck. So we're given a next shot after the whole intro of course and one of the be uh, a whole bunch of group at the Byakuya gang are obviously robbing some like some place or whatever right just to steal from the rich like they have been doing Iwabe decides to go after him and he actually sets up an entire uh, mud wall and this one's actually highly fortified supposedly so they weren't supposed to get out easily but of course because plot reasons they got out super easily and um, the kid with the red hair who who knows how to use ice release. I, I'm gonna say his name later on in the episode when uh, when we get confirmation of what his name is. I just want you to know that uh, I'm terrible with names, so I'm gonna butcher it. So, anyways, the whole ice shard is being hurled towards Denki after they explode out of the mud wall. Right? For whatever reason, Metal Lee decides to try to like deflect it back with his arm and his whole arm got fucked up like seriously he had to go to uh, like the whole hospital and his arms and bandages and, and, and shit but of course because he's like his dad Rock Lee he's like well if I could still move I could still train and I was like no dude stop stop trying to stop trying to be like your dad the writers please stop trying to make these getting like like their goddamn parents it's it's kind of annoying <laughs> like it's kind of funny I actually kind of laughed a little bit when Metal Lee was like yeah if I could still move around I could train I was like oh that's like Rock Lee but it's a lot funnier with Rock Lee but <laughs> so whatever Iwabe is given a ton of crap for like kind of like doing what he wasn't supposed to be doing whatever right and so they actually start talking on like news reports saying like oh everybody is you know loving the Byakuya gang right and it's mainly towards the people who are obviously on the poor side not on the rich side but people are actually more so encouraging them and are on their side more than they are against them and the whole time like Boruto is like contemplating like this that or, or whatever and then of course he's gonna he's gonna be like his dad and he's gonna be like well I don't entirely disagree with helping out those who are less fortunate, but not in the sense of I'd rather get a whole bunch of people hurt in to be able to help a whole bunch of people. And the way that that whole kind of like spur the moment kind of line kind of came out was Borto is back home, obviously with his sister Himawari and Hinata, his mother, 
and Himawari is talking about are the but yeah, is are the Byakuya gang good or bad? I can't really tell. And then Boruto being Boruto, he's like, well, they're not necessarily bad, but what they're doing is bad. They shouldn't steal and get people hurt in the process because that's bad. So. <laughs> I'm not really trying, am I? It's kind of hilarious. So, of course, we get a little bit of like filler in the in in the episode. I don't know why I'm, I couldn't think of the word I was looking for. So we get a little bit of filler in the episode with them talking about like the Byakuya gang. Shikadai is like, oh, this that whatever. Boruto is like this that and whatever. They're all disagreeing with each other. This that and the other. I'm saying that a lot, aren't I? <laughs> so Boruto decides to go ahead and leave where they're at they're at like a restaurant type of place where they always are in every episode and and so he decides to go and meet the guy from the Boruto movie I don't remember his name because he, he wasn't really that important in a Boruto movie anyways so I kind of forgot what his name was but that guy you, 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 you know who he is he's the guy that everybody hates for giving Boruto and the Ninja Tool. He gives them like a whole bunch of like limited edition games and then he actually gives a little bit of uh, foresight for what's going to be happening in the next arc with basically studying Ninja Tool and making people be able to use Ninja uh, Ninja Tool with you know with ease which was the whole point of the Ninja Tool in the first place which is why a whole lot of stuff happened in the Boruto movie for it happening for reasons that just were explained. So uh, Tamari, you know, Shikadai's mom is like in the middle of the in, of trying to capture the Byakuya gang, and I was like, really? It, it, it's it's that serious where we need like someone like Tamari to like step in and like do some shit. So, uh, Shik Shikadai meets up with the kid from the last episode. His name is Rio Guy. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Again, I'm terrible with names, so. For, forgive me for butchering the name if I if I did I highly apologize so he starts talking to him uh, about like tactics and, sh and shit on on Shogi once again uh, they start talking about a little bit about the Byakuya gang and like kind of like what Shigadai thinks about it uh, Ryogai thinks the same thing and then Boruto obviously shows up uh, that's where we actually get the confirmation of his name because Shikadai, for whatever reason, still didn't decide whether or not to actually learn what his name was until Boruto showed up and he was like, Oh, who's this kid? And then Boruto's like, uh, Haven't I seen you before? And then the kid's like, The kid's like, Oh, maybe you've seen someone like me before. And then I was like, Really? They're gonna, they're gonna do that? <laughs> they're gonna do that? So the kid is like, okay, I gotta leave because right now the Byakuya gang is like robbing some kind of store for like jewels and stuff. And he uses some kind of like jutsu to be able to like, like move around really fast, like some kind of ice release technique or some something. Because obviously like he does, he does something in, in the scene, right? And then Boruto's like, oh, that was like, that was really cold. And I was like, doesn't that like kind of like go ahead and tell you that he's one of the members of the Byakuya gang kind of right don't don't think uh, so anyways they're getting chased after Tamari shows up she's starting to chase after the kid with the red hair Borto she decides to involve Borto and Shikadai and the like kind of help out Shikadai for whatever reason is like hesitant and he doesn't like and he doesn't help out whatsoever like Tamari literally asked Shikadai to use Shadow Paralysis Jutsu and he's like, oh, from here? From this distance? And then it's like, no, he was just very hesitant on helping for some reason when I was like, I was like, why? Why? So it's like, why? So anyways, the final shot is of like, the I guess the, the main like boss of the Byakuya gang and then the kid, right? And apparently like the kid is the guy's son. So I guess there's confirmation about that there. But the thing that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense is how the kid was able to use ice release when the entirety of the Yuki clan, you know, the only people in existence in the Naruto-verse to be able to use ice release. Like, what, what, what was that about? I don't know. Whatever. So... 
so the episode ends off there. We get the previews. Basically, it's going to involve more with Shigadai and the interaction that he has with Ryogai. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. It's kind of like insinuating. Some of the moments in, in some of the scenes that were in the previews were insinuating that Shigadai kind of figured out who he was and what he's doing. And then uh, he's probably going to like retaliate and do something. But he probably won't. He probably won't. It'll probably just be like a kind of kind of be like a fake out of some sorts. I don't know. It's gonna be weird. If on honesty, I wanted it to end here so we could just get into the whole Boruto movie stuff. Because if if in all honesty, even though I even though I kind of didn't like like the the boss, the main bad guy of the whole Boruto movie, uh, I can't remember his name for some reason. I don't know why. Because it's been a while. Since I've watched the Boruto movie, um, Momoshiki. I didn't really like Momoshiki all that much, or Kinshiki either. But like, goddamn, they were. There's so much more kind of. They're they're kind of so much more interesting to kind of like look at and see what they do than some of these guys. Even though I like the motive that these like Byakuya gang members have, it's 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 small, of course, but. It's realistic for what they should be going after, not like, oh, I'm gonna blow up the planet, kind of like level shit. Like, just, 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 just not. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, tomorrow, I'm gonna have a couple of matches of fighters. I haven't been playing it a lot recently, but I do wanna start playing it a little bit more. I'm gonna, actually, after the. Actually, after I'm done rendering this video, and then after I upload it, I'm gonna play Fighters, and hopefully tomorrow you you will be able to see my first ranked match because I haven't played ranked yet. I've rarely played online, as a matter of fact, so hopefully you get to see that tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how long the video will be, probably about like 20 minutes long, 20 plus minutes long, maybe depending on the matches. So, anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys didn't enjoy. If you, if you didn't enjoy, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the notification button so you never miss a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful life, and I'm out.